Hi and welcome to this tutorial on how to use spreadsheet software as a data handling solution. In this session we're going to learn how to use these core spreadsheet skills. We're going to learn how to merge cells, we're going to learn how to use multiple selection, we're going to learn how to use data validation, conditional formatting, how to unlock cells, how to use if statements and password protection. I'll also touch on how to use the format painter and how to format and put borders in and things like that. Now, where are we going with this? We are aiming to create a data handling solution which will count the amount of spaces there are in our imaginary car park. In our car park, we don't want to do anything other than park number ones. We don't want to park in the road. Okay, that solution there has a flaw which we're going to correct, okay, in your final solution. Now, if we refer to our objectives and our introduction finally. Now, you've been asked to develop a spreadsheet which is used by a car park attendant to tell them if the car park is full. There are only 20 cars allowed in the car park. In this demonstration, which should take less than seven minutes, I'm going to demonstrate how to do this. I'm going to structure this like a lesson. I'll tell you when to pause the video and I'll refer back to the performance criteria. I'll refer back to the objectives and that will give you time for your students to do the lesson. With a Key Stage 3 group, this, this lesson usually takes about two hours. With Key Stage 4, it usually takes an hour. And with students new to ICT, it takes usually an hour to do this with Key Stage 5 as well. The seven minutes talking, okay, includes uh, all the demonstrations. Now, if we open up a new spreadsheet, first thing I'm going to show you is how to merge cells. Now, experience tells me that this solution works best if I zoom to this selection here. So I'm going to start off by doing that so that you can see me working. Now, we're going to merge these cells here so that we've got a box that displays the number. We do that by going to alignment and ticking merge cells. I'm going to do the same thing for the display message that's going to take that's going to show here. Once I've done that, Okay, if we refer back to our objectives, you'll have noticed we've merged cells and we've used multiple selection. Actually, we haven't. The next thing we're going to do is highlight A3. Now, if you hold down the control key and select the other cells that are not non-contiguous, you can select more than one at a time. Now, once we've multiple selected, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to validate the data use conditional formatting and unlock cells. So if I quickly go back to my example here, I'm going to validate. So I'm going to validate and set it to be a whole number equal to one. And I'm going to include an error message here which says only one car in uh, bay. Now it's very important if you're an A-level student to make sure that your error messages are descriptive and they describe the fault and where the fault is occurring. So I've done that. I'm also going to use the fill handle to colour it. I'm going to apply conditional formatting and if the cell is equal to 1 it will turn red. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to format the cells and I'm going to unlock them. This is a very important for when you come to the final end of the spreadsheet. Now, once I've done that, I'm going to copy that selection and paste it a few times. And I can use the control key to actually paste as well. So you'll see here I've selected five separate areas at the same time and it will paste them. I press the escape key now. And if I go back to my objectives, I have used multiple cell selection. I have validated the data. I have used conditional formatting and I have unlocked cells. Now at this point, before I review the objectives, you may wish to pause the video. Okay, welcome back. Now if I refer to my introduction at this point, at this point we cannot calculate how many spaces there are in the spreadsheet. We don't display how many spaces that are available. There's no message saying that it's full. We do only allow one car in a bay and we don't allow number five which is the cars to be only parked in the actual space and the, the attendant can still change the formula so in this next session you're going to do an if statement and password protection 
that will fulfill the remaining criteria. In my experience, this usually takes 15 to 20 minutes because the if statement for students can be tricky. If I refer back to the spreadsheet, just to confirm, if I put a 1 in, you'll see it changes. If I try and put in anything other than a 1, I'll get my error message. Okay, so we're good to go. Now, in this box here, I'm going to count up the number of cars that there are. So I'm going to start off with equals 20, because that's the number of cars that are allowed. I'm going to minus the sum of this whole range. Because it doesn't matter if I park in the road, because I'm going to block that with other formula. Now there's a mistake in here, I need to put brackets in pairs. And when I've done that, you'll see it calculates it as 19. If I rub it out, it puts it up to 20. Now, we're going to include in here an if statement. If statement starts equal if. You always put a bracket after a word and an equal sign in Excel. So my condition is going to be if this cell A1 is equal to 0, I put in a comma, and within speech marks, I'm going to put in car park full. Now the opposite, separated by a comma and speech marks again, is spaces available. Now when I, when you choose to pause, I'm going to make sure that you can see this so that students can copy it off the board if you want to. So spaces are indeed available. Now I'm going to center that, I'm going to bold it, and I'm going to make that size 20. Now the reason why I've done this is because I want to demonstrate Format Painter. Format Painter allows you to copy the format from any range to any range and it's a lot simpler and quicker way of setting up a spreadsheet or indeed a publisher document. Now, at this point I think you should pause. You can see the if statement at the top and what I'm going to do is just to make it easy for you guys to see I'm going to knock that down to 16 maybe even further and this is a good point after that helpful sneeze for you to pause right okay now we have our if statement in place and I'm gonna make my size 20 back again if we go back to our objectives yes we have an if statement but we've not password protected yet. Password protection is always what you do last. Go back to my introduction. We can cal calculate the cars in the spaces. Sorry about that. We can display how many spaces there are in the car park. We can display a message saying that it's full. However, the attendant can still park cars on the road and still change the formula. Now to solve that problem, we go back to the sheet. Okay, and the next thing, Quite simply, we go to review, we go to protect sheet. At this point, if I click OK, spreadsheet is finished. I can't park in the road. I can't park multiple cars. I can only park one car at a time. And I'll quickly demonstrate the if statement working. So you can see it working, you can see the spaces counting down. Now in future tutorials you may wish to use a macro to clean down the spreadsheet. That will advance the learning of students. You may also wish to include command buttons and hyperlinks to the different pages. Let's just refer back to our objectives. We have now password protected the sheets. We have now fulfilled our last two criterion. And that's nearly it. I would say that in here it would be nice if that message appeared in red. To do that, again I need to unprotect the sheet, I need to use conditional formatting again, and this time we're going to type in car park full. Now if you edit this later on you need to put it in speech marks, but for now you'll see that the conditional formatting works. I'll re-protect my spreadsheet, and that's it. Okay. We have now fulfilled all of our end user requirements, we've fulfilled all our objectives, and all that remains for me to say is uh, thanks for listening, remember to spread the love, Matt Parker Tutorial Services, there to help businesses and there to help students with the coursework.